Hey there, Rawco here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been around before. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video today is I'm just going to do something that's in response to a question that I, that I saw on a forum uh, just a couple of days back. And that is how to mirror a pose. Now, I gave my answer, walked away, didn't think much more of it. But then when I came back to check up a little bit later, I, I you realise just how many people didn't know you could do that or certainly didn't know how to do it. So I thought to myself, well, there's a video. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is not only show you how to mirror mirror a pose uh, that we've got, which we've got our model set up here in, uh, but also how to mirror certain parts of the pose. You know, for instance, in this case, if we wanted our model looking in the other direction, uh but leave the rest of the pose the same. So make sure you, you do stick around for the second part of that video. Uh, now in a follow-up video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the same techniques. Uh, and what I'm going to do is mix and match poses so that you can use arms from pose one and legs from pose two and head from pose three, just so that you can end up with the exact pose that you actually want. Uh, so yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss that video also when it drops. Uh, and of course, any other videos that I tend to drop in the future. Uh, now, as you can see, we do have a model in place, as I've already mentioned. This is Mariah from Musso, I think. Uh, and as usual, we've stuck some hair on her head. Uh, and as usual, again, any you know the assets used in this uh, video you can find down in the description below. So let's get into flipping the pause. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that Mariah or our model's name is selected as you can see at the very top level and then we need to be in the parameters tab and then what we need to do is click this little four lined menu button here. Give that a click and as you can see there's an option there for symmetry. Now alternatively we can come up to the edit menu in the top left down to figure and there is symmetry over there as well. You can do either way, they both take you to the same place. And what that place is, is this little dialogue box. Uh, now, I think what the options that you can see there are default. Uh, if not, then just make sure you, you set them up in the way that that's set up. Because then what you can do, you can come across to the Preferences tab over here, and we can give that a click. And as you can see, we've got this checkbox selected called Set Preferred Options on Accept. Make sure that's clicked and it'll just remember all your choices the next time you go to do this. And then we come back out to options, or you can do it from the preferences tab, and hit accept. And what that'll do is it will flip the script as you can see. Now that's all well and good and fairly simple. Uh, but what if you want to keep the majority of the pose that she's in, but have the head looking in the opposite direction, in exactly the same pose that she is there, looking over the shoulder slightly. Now what we could do, if we just zoom in for a moment so we can get a, a close-up view, what we could do is we could select the neck, as we see there, so it selects neck lower, for instance, there. We could then come down into the parameters tab and start playing around with these sliders to try to get the exact look that we want. But that's a lot of messing about and it's pretty time-consuming, so if I just use the undo button to take her back, what instead we could do is lock the entire body in place other than the neck and the head, and then just use the mirror script to flip the head back around to the original direction or the or looking over the other shoulder. Uh, and the way that we do that is by, if we go up and we select Mariah, and then we do Mariah, select, and then select children. What we do there is we then select every bone and every node uh, within the model itself. Uh, and what we then do is we go back to our little menu there, come down to lock and lock selected nodes. And what we do there is we instruct DAS to say every bone, every node that exists in that in that model, lock it in place and make it unmovable. So if we come down to the neck, for instance, again, we can see that there's a little padlock now on all of these uh, sliders in the parameters tab. And that'll be the same on every single uh, bone or node that you can select. And as you can see, no matter what we do with the slider, nothing moves, nothing changes. Uh, but we do want the neck, the head uh, to be able to move. So what we do now is we come across, we select neck lower, as we can see what's in there. We can right click on select lower, select, and then select children so that now it only selects all the bones from neck lower 
and then downwards or upwards in, in reality, neck lower, neck upper head and all the facial bones. And then we can again come down to our little menu, come down to lock, and now we do unlock selected nodes. And we do that. So now when we select neck lower again, you can see that little padlock's disappeared. Uh, if we check on abdomen upper, the padlock's there, but on neck lower, neck upper and head, there are no padlocks and we're able to move them freely. Uh, as you can see, if I just play around with the, the twist slider and just put it back. Uh, so now what we're able to do is we're now able to do our symmetry once more, come back up to Mariah, come onto our little menu, down to symmetry. There's our little dialog box again, everything's set in place. We now hit accept. And because only the neck and the head is able to move, that is the only thing that changes and the rest of the pose stays as it is. Uh, so if we wanted to look them from that way with the arms in the way that they are, that's how we do it. Uh, now from my camera that I've got set up, she's now looking in the opposite direction, but that's beside the point. The whole point of it was just to show you how you can get other, you know, just flip and mirror individual body parts. Now you have to be slightly careful because uh, if you wanted to flip the arms across, you would have to do that locking nodes and unlocking nodes on both of their arms rather than just one. Uh, but, you know, if we were just doing something like the head or the upper body or the lower body, you just take the root bone that everything else connects to and you just lock from there downwards uh, and you should be fine. Uh, so, yeah, that's how we do that. And I'll get her looking back the other way so she's not being ignorant. That's how we do that. I hope you found that useful. Uh, and if you have so, then please give me a like down below and share the video around as that really, really helps. Uh, likewise, if you haven't yet already, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And finally, if you've got any questions about this video or any questions about DES in general, then leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to answering them as soon as I possibly can. So that's it for now. Thanks for hanging around. As you can see on the screen, I've done a little render with her. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.